know. And chocolate was our favourite. I mean, you can't always treat people like poo. Hey, I said I'm sorry. But you only said that so you could use my PC. I did, but not anymore. Oh, yeah? I'm really sorry, Biscuits. You know, you look like the fish. But we have to do this project about the celebrities. We have to do something now. But everybody's made their mind up about who they're going with. So, I've had some thoughts. And I think that we should go as Larry and Lara. Good eye, mice. I'm Larry, and welcome to the show. You can squeeze it, roll it, add more flour if you like it, and you just take it into beats, you see? Because that's very, very important. I'm Larry. Ah! And welcome to the show. You. <laughs> Hiya. Hi. Hi. Switch that off. Your granddad's got something to tell you. You're not getting married, are you? No. <laughs> so what's happening then? Well, I've got this job next week. Driving this old lady to see her family for Christmas. And I wondered if you wanted to come with me for the ride. I thought you might fancy it. Might be a bit boring. Don't you even want to know where I'm driving her to? You're joking! <laughs> Scotland! <gasps> That's brilliant, Grandad! That means I'll be allowed to see Alice! <laughs> <laughs> Your granddad's gone soft in the head. You can't go all the way to Scotland and back in a day with him. And that old lady is not going to want you in the car. He's lost the plot. <laughs> And as if Karen's going to agree to it. Ow! You know she thinks you're Ow! a bad influence. Ow! And I hate to have to say it, Ow! but I'm afraid Ow! I think she's right. Ow! So while I was up to my neck in problems, I'd completely forgotten about the celebrity Christmas party. Laura. Don't know, but my ex can be pants without her. Who are you? The cheeky girls. Please. No. Please. Mm -mm. Please. Gemma. Please. Go on, phone Alice's mum. What did she say? She said you can go. Woo! Thanks, Mum. You're marvellous. Best mum in the world. Yeah. You got it? Yeah, right. Biscuits? The bell went ages ago. I was waiting for them.
it going till I get back. Granddad's picking me up in an hour, and I can't wait to see Alice. It's just every single year there's a birthday cake, and every single year we make a wish. Every single year. But this year, there's no birthday cake, which means there's no wish. Plus, I have nothing to take her. Says who? old lady. You'll have to be on your best behaviour. Of course I will. I'm not sure that she likes little girls. Mrs. Chumley. Oh, sorry. Open the window, Jem. I think she's left something behind. <laughs> <laughs> she's a one woman wind machine. <laughs> Gemma, come here. Yep. I need to speak to you. What's up? Suppose. Suppose Alice isn't quite as pleased to see you as you'd hoped. I mean, I'm, you're excited, of course you are. But what if she isn't as excited? Her feelings... Her feelings might have changed since she last saw you. And what if you get to heaven, Grandad? And Grandma's gone off of you? Look, it's not gonna happen. Besides, I'm gonna be on my best behaviour. I swear. No swearing. All right. This is the day Aunt Karen realises I'm the best behaved girl in the whole. Entire world! <laughs> right, come on then. We better get off. Catch me. <laughs> Finally, we were there in Scotland. Posh gates. <gasps> we're here, Grandad, we're here! Yeah, and we brought the sunshine with us. Gosh. <laughs> Gemma! Alex! Gemma! Oh, oh. Gemma! I can't believe it. You. Oh, I'm fine. Oh, you made it oh, so, so well. It's not been the same without you. Oh. I thought I was going to be part of me forever. God. Um, Jem, this is Flora. <clears throat> um, 
And here we have the music room. Note the grand piano. It has a very relaxing ambiance. <laughs> To know la pièce de résistance. Ta-da! Alice's bedroom. Oh, it's, it's very pink. It's Alice's favourite colour. Oh, I haven't shown you the Egyptian-style laundry yet. I think the hieroglyphics nudging the dado really works. <laughs> Walk this way. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever be able to walk that way. So, Melissa! She's called Rosebud. She's called Melissa. We renamed her. And what is she wearing? I made that. She clashed otherwise. Did she? Otherwise, I still think of her as Melissa. Good. And what's this? Oh, that's my new dressing gown. Don't you like it? It's dead sexy. Look. <laughs> that's not sexy. This is sexy. <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting. No, it's not. It's sexy. It's precocious. It's pole dancing. And I saw it on the telly. My mum changed the channel because she said it was too sexy. So therefore, it's sexy. Q-E-D. Mm -hmm. I bet you don't even know what Q-E-D stands for. <sighs> That's right, because I'm not a sadder like you. You really do have a very loud voice. Well, if you went home, you wouldn't have to listen to it. Yeah. The door's over there. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Wanna bet? <laughs> Here we go. The bed's massive, though. Yeah. That's what I do. Slap to <laughs> What's that, Aunt Karen? It's my special McChristmas punch. <laughs> Can I have some? Don't be ridiculous, Gemma. We've some nice fizzy pop for you youngsters. And some haggis canopies. <laughs> Who tickled your rib cage? Punch is alcoholic. Surely everyone knows that. Yes, I do. Duh, we're ten. Duh, with knobs on. I'm allowed to drink alcohol. As if your mother would allow that. Well, no. But Grandad gives me the occasional lager, don't you, Grandad? <laughs> Possibly a very weak shandy. <laughs> oh, it's a lovely weird drum. Would you mind not doing that to Melissa? She doesn't like it. Do you mind remembering that Rosebud's a doll and therefore has no feelings? Please, could you call her by her correct name? What's it got to do with you? It's Alice's doll. I gave it to her. Yeah, right. I did. How could you afford it? Alice told me you were really poor. <laughs> Sorry. Here's the cake. <gasps> Look at it, Flora. Isn't Gemma clever? Who aced it? Your dog? Come on, Alice, let's cut the cake together and make a special wish. Great. I'm good at cutting. No, it's Karen, please. Me and Alice have got to cut the cake together. And whose little tea party is it, Gemma? Not Flora's. Mine and Alice's. Now, you're going too far, Gemma. Here you are, Flora, dear. You go ahead and cut the cake. No! You don't understand. Every year, me and Alice cut the cake. And we've got to make a special wish. I'm going to have my special wish first. Gemma. Gem, 
No, please don't. No, Gemma! Oops! Sorry. <laughs> Gemma! Get out! Get out, Gemma, and never darken my door again. Hello, Trouble. You had your cake and eaten it. <laughs> I didn't get a birthday card from Alice this year, and that's the first time ever. And because of what happened in Scotland, I don't think I'm ever going to see her again. And Biscuits is still angry at me because I was so mean to him. So basically, it's going to be the worst birthday ever. So you're really looking forward to this party, then? having a birthday on the day before Christmas. Not really. You know, I'm a very weird person. So it kind of suits me. <gasps> oh, biscuits. You like it? I love it. <sighs> Sorry, I didn't mean it like... It's not your fault. You're so thoughtful. I'm not. That's your problem. You've got too many things zinging through your brain. It makes it hard to concentrate. Well, it's beautiful, but I don't think I'm ever going to see her again. So it kind of makes me upset. Maybe when you're older. And that'll be ages away. And by then she'll have made loads of other friends and we won't even know each other and we'll be into different things and look different. I just want it to be the way it always was. Hard, isn't it? Look, I know I've been horrible to you in the past. Oh, shut up. No, I have. And I'm sorry. I didn't always used to like you. But I do now. But... Do you think you can have, like, two friends? Like, two really close friends? Do you really have to choose? I don't know. I don't reckon you do. I reckon you can have lots of friends. And they're all really important. Friends who live miles away. And friends that live just down the road. They're all friends. I suppose so. Happy birthday, Alice. You know what you're like with e-numbers. Do you think Biscuit's grand is going out with Grandad? I don't know. She seems to make him happy, though. Does that make you happy? You have to find happiness where you can, love. Oh, come here, Jim. Hey, I'm really sorry Alice can't be here. I know what. Why don't I let you open one of your Christmas presents? Can I? Of course you can. Hey! 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 Hey!
better to do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Jem, I want you to know that I really, really miss you. And although I like Flora, she'll never replace you because you'll always be my best friend. Okay? Okay. We're best friends forever and ever and ever. Right. You're not crying, are you? No, don't be silly. Are you sure? I'm sure. What's the weather like? Is it snowing? Yeah! It's snowing here too! Is it? <laughs> Jen, can you go to the window for me and describe what you see? I want every last detail, okay? All right. <sighs> well, it's very snowy. Hi, Jem. <gasps> Is that you, Alice? Hi, Jem. <laughs> Alice! Yeah! <laughs> Snow is falling. Alice! Yeah. It turned out that Grandad had spoken to Fergus, and he was fed up of Alice moping around. So, they decided to put a smile on both of our faces. Two really close friends. Smile. I don't know. All I know is it's the best Christmas ever. <laughs> 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 